Hey gang, welcome back to the channel with me, Sally, and we are back here in Sam's flat today for this awesome recipe. It looks really fun. Can you see it? Yeah, look at all these goodies we've got. And today I'm gonna show you the super, super simple recipe for edible cookie dough because I love cookie dough and I know that you love cookie dough because a few weeks back we showed you the crumbs and doilies recipe for the cookie dough brownie and I think you probably loved it the most because of the cookie dough and if you haven't seen that recipe then I'll put a link to it in the description box below but also make sure that you have subscribed to our channel and click the little bell button which is next to the subscribe button just somewhere around here and that means you'll get a notification every time we upload and also if you like this video or any of our other videos then please give us a thumbs up because it really helps Helps to share our videos across the YouTube network so we can get more people in our baking gang. Anyway, let's get on with this cookie dough recipe. Now there's a few little things you want to watch out for in edible cookie dough because you can't actually really eat normal cookie dough raw because it has raw eggs in it which you kind of want to avoid and also raw flour which I think a lot of people don't really realize but it can also carry some bacteria in it. So I'm going to show you a nice simple recipe that means it's really really super super safe to eat <laughs> and it is great fun. It's great for kind of like kids parties as well because we're going to get really creative at the end of this just making up all sorts of awesome flavored cookie dough. So we're going to start with some butter. Now I'm making a huge amount because I want to split it out and show you guys lots of different options but I'll put a few different quantity options below in the description box. So I've got um, 480 grams of soft unsalted butter here and I've just had it in the microwave for a few blasts at a time just to get it nice and soft because we want to be able to mix this nice and easily. You can do this in a stand mixer um, but you can do it by hand or like I'm going to do with a hand whizzer. So into this we're going to add some sugars and I've got two different types of sugars. We've got white caster sugar here so I've got 280 grams of that but also I've got 180 grams of soft light brown sugar because this really brings out that kind of cookie dough flavor. It's kind of very caramelly in taste. It's nice and soft and it's a little bit kind of uh, grainier as well. So you get that kind of raw cookie dough sensation <laughs> in your mouth. So 180 grams of that going in too. And we're gonna start by whizzing this all together. So like I said, I am gonna do it with my hand mixer for a few minutes until they're nice and creamed and combined. All right, so next up we're gonna add some salt, which is vital in cookie dough. That's what makes it the most delicious. So for this quantity, I'm gonna be putting in two full teaspoons of fine sea salt. And we're gonna whisk that through just nice and quickly. So next up we're going to add some yogurt. Now we're going to be adding this because it's going to add a nice tang and it's also going to help loosen this because we're obviously not going to be putting any eggs in it. So you could use a Greek yogurt or you could use some sour cream or some buttermilk. I personally think Greek yogurt's lovely because it's not too kind of creamy. So we're going to put in about eight tablespoons of this and again we're just going to whisk this through just to combine it. And then finally to our base cookie dough, we obviously need to add some flour. So I've got 420 grams of plain flour here. And like I said before, flour can carry some nasty bacteria, but it is super simple to kind of fix that. And all I've done is put my flour into a nice big baking tray here, and I put it in the oven at 160 for about 10 minutes. Done, bacteria gone. So that is all you need to do. So we're now gonna put all of this, actually I've lied, I'm gonna do this in two halves. I'm gonna put half of my flour in and I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix this by hand because it will become quite stiff. And then we'll add the second half. Better just give it a little taste. Mm. Already tasting amazing, but it's going to be even better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into four and I'm going to show you four really fun different flavoured cookie doughs that you can do. Alright, so first up I'm just going to show you regular chocolate chip cookie dough. So we're going to need some chocolate chips, but also 
little bit of vanilla I think is essential if you're going for a plain kind of base cookie dough. So for this amount, which is pretty small here, I'm just going to add maybe a quarter teaspoon, I think. <laughs> and we'll just mix that through first. And don't forget, you can get this vanilla from cupcakegemma.com. It is amazing. We've been using this stuff at the Crumbs and Dorney's Bakeries for ever, maybe? It is awesome. Right, so once your vanilla is mixed in, it's time for chocolate chips. So you can just go with some chocolate chips like this. Obviously, these are chocolate chips. But for this, I personally like to chop them up a little bit smaller. So they're a little bit more irregular, so it looks kind of fun, but also you get more in the batter and more as always. Good. So let's just sprinkle a few in and you can do whatever chocolate you like. I like to use dark chocolate, but if you want to go milk chocolate or maybe a mix of milk and white, whatever you like. I think it needs more. Always more. taste as we go so I get to eat all of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Amazing. Tastes just like raw cookie dough even though it doesn't have the eggs in it. Mm, so good and this is the one that we use in our cookie dough brownie. But if you want to make the cookie dough brownie then why don't you make a different flavoured cookie dough. So let's make something a little bit more fun. So I think Salted caramel pretzel. Duh! <laughs> this is also a really great way of using up any leftovers that you might have once you've been baking. So I've got some caramel here that I just stole from the bakery. <laughs> and we're going to start by swirling a little bit of this into the cookie dough. So mixing this bit in fully, just to give it kind of an overall caramelly taste. But we'll put some more in in a second. And I'm first going to put in my pretzels here. So just going to break some of these up straight into the cookie dough. And if it's salted caramel, then it's got to be salty. So I've got some flaky sea salt here. I'm just going to sprinkle a few of those and so you get some nice little nuggets of salt as you eat this. And then, just for good measure, I'm going to swirl this lot of caramel through it. really good. <laughs> I actually think this would be amazing with the brownie because chocolate and salted caramel. Oh wow. Mmm. Yeah. Okay that's my favourite so far but let's move on. And this is going to be chocolate right because we've got to do a chocolate. So we need to turn the base into chocolate. So I'm going to start with some cocoa powder and I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of a, and a half and we'll start by mixing that through. And cocoa powder is okay, right? It's great. Cocoa powder is great. It adds a real kind of intensity, but not super kind of chocolatey. So there's one thing for that, and that is actual chocolate. So I've got some melted dark chocolate, and I'm just going to wing it. Pour some in, mix it in. We might want to add some more. getting there but let's go all the way. Let's add some chocolate chips so you get a little bit of crunch in there and also I'm going to put these little bits of brownie. The guys at the bakery had some leftover brownie so I just chucked it in the freezer and then I split it into these little pieces. I'm just going to chuck those in as well because why not? 
Mm. Love it. Right, we've got one more, and I'm gonna make this one fun. So we went to New York a few years ago, and we went to Dough, and they just do cookie dough, and they do all different flavors, and you can have sprinkles and all sorts all over it. So I thought we'd do a little fun one of those, starting with my all-time favorite thing in the world, which is the multi corn flakes, which is what we use loads at the bakery. I'll put a recipe in the description box below if you wanna make some of these. They are so good. They're like cornflakes, but way better. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some of those in. And then I think I'm gonna add some marshmallows. So you get a little bit of chew in there too. This is a fun one, I love this. Okay, and then I'm gonna go for some sprinkles, of course. Look at that. And then maybe some white chocolate chips too. This is the one, people. This is everything. This is salty, this is sweet, this is chewy, this is crispy. Oh, I love it. That is my homage to New York. Everything I loved about that city is in this cup. Oh, so much fun. And you saw how simple that was. We just made a simple kind of cookie dough, edible cookie dough, remember? And then I've just mixed in some really simple ingredients to make four different cookie doughs. And you can make whatever you like. You can make them all colorful. You could do like unicorn, rainbow ones where you kind of make the batter all colourful, put loads of sprinkles in it, just have loads and loads of fun. And also you can use this whenever a recipe calls for cookie dough, whether that's we do a cookie dough cupcake, we've done a cookie dough cake, we've obviously got the cookie dough brownie. You could make a fun cookie dough instead of just the kind of regular classic chocolate chip. You can also freeze this really well too and you could put it in your ice cream so you can have Ben and Jerry's cookie dough made by you. <laughs> So have a great time making all of these. And if you've got a cookie dough fanatic in your life, then please share this video with them because it will satisfy all their cookie dough needs and maybe they'll make you some as well. <laughs> mm, I absolutely love cookie dough. And if you did, then please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel as well. We'll be back next Thursday with another recipe for you guys. Until then, keep on sharing all your photos with us over on Instagram because we absolutely love to see what you guys have been up to. And if you're in London, then obviously please swing by the Crumbs and Doily store in Soho. We would love to see you. So we'll see you next week. Oh, yeah. mm. Mm.